Hello, good morning. <laughs> Hope you are well, guys. Now, uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Normally, obviously, I would be heading off to a car event and uh, taking you there with me, but today, because it's London Fashion Week, um, I thought we should get involved. I'm going to go in my i8 and we're going to go and check out which other cars will be heading to Fashion Week as well. But to do it, properly and in style. I've enlisted the help of a friend. You'll be here in a second. television and yeah, radio so so I, well I'd say so I'm a TV and radio presenter I'm a show on magic uh, radio well magic chilled I do lots of DJing and I've always done sort of music TV presenting as well as documentaries and entertainment uh, so it all ties in really well together and I've you know been involved with fashion week for quite a long time and then I did some reporting front row and backstage interviewing like you know celebs interviewing designers uh, which again I really enjoyed so I've always, I've always had my toes dipped in it, and obviously now I've realised that I've had my toes dipped in it for so long that actually I know quite a lot. What do you think about the fashion currently in the um, car vlogging world? I can't say that I'm <laughs> au fait with the car vlogging world. I imagine it's quite like a lot of leathers. It actually depends. Some people are quite smart. Some people just and okay people are, are quite catch on. But, but I think that's kind of like with everything, even even when you're running around like a headless chicken working at London Fashion Week, you're in, you're in your trainers, but you still look chic and stylish. Yeah. You know, it's just about what, you know, wearing what looks good on you and knowing what looks good on you and enjoying what you're wearing. So I want to ask you, I, I mean, I think that the car vlogging world needs a bit of expert advice right, okay. from Pips Taylor when it comes to fashion. Okay, I will make um, them look like they're going to a disco. So I, I think I'm going to show you a couple of the Instagram profiles of some of our friends uh, okay. from the world. And I think, I'm sure they wouldn't mind, they probably will, but I'm hoping they won't mind if maybe you kind of... Yeah, give a little bit of guidance, and if they happen to watch it, they, they might take it on okay. board, they might not. Okay, so first up is uh, a guy called Paul Wallace, okay. and he runs Hi, a vlog Paulie. called uh, Supercars of London. Now, just wow. talk us through what he's wearing. Right, well in this, he's wearing a, a tracksuit. I mean, each to their own. <laughs> At least it's a coordinate, Paul. Well done, matching is in fashion this season. <laughs> Uh, any so other uh, any other outfits that you'd like to pick out from Paul where he's you know well you know then he's in a you know then he's in some nice suits you know ooh not sure about that oh Paul great car in this it's a Mercedes Benz AMG GTR but dude your pants are like they're like harem pants they're, pro they're proper joggers. I is don't there think a, do you think is, men should not wear harem I pants? I have, I have, a, I, I have a very strong opinion on men's fashion. <laughs> Which so is what? For, for, <laughs> for me, shoes are really important, and you can't be too trendy. Oh, he likes his trainers, though. I don't know what. No, I like trainers okay. for sure. What, but the what, thing is, is that it's the. Tra I'm afraid it's the pants. It's the tight jogging pants <laughs> that are not really doing it for me, Paul. I'm, I do apologise, but you know who am I at the end of the day? I'm just. You know, right, let's let's move great on. Great cars, though, Paul, and great great Instagram. I'll be following you. Well done. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. Go on, um, who is it? Mr. JWW, also known as James. Um, what do you think about his fashion style? Uh, we've got a lot of yacht 
else on this one. <laughs> okay, so here we go, he's just loading. Quite nice and cash, like that leather jacket, jeans, timeless. <laughs> Love it. Oh look, here you go, Sunday best. I'm pretty sure you're in black tie. That's cool, in a McLaren. Hack it, one of his sponsors. That's very smart. So Mr. JWW, whoever you are, winning look. <laughs> okay, so Pips, what was your first car? My first car was a silver Ford Fiesta. It's called Fat Steve. Basically, Fat Steve. our friend Naz, when we were at uni, thought that um, when I said I had a Fiesta that I said it was called Fat Steve and I was like, bingo, you will call it Fat Steve. So he was Fat Steve and always was Fat Steve. So she misheard the word Fiesta for Fat Steve. Yeah. Love it. And then I was like, that's the, the best name for my car. Fat uh, Steve, love it. Fat uh, Steve and Magic Ball. And what do you drive for now? So I actually don't have a car now, but I drive my boyfriend's, which is BMW 3 Series. Yeah. And he also uh, has a bike as well. So. Yes. Now, I'm, I'm getting really into my motorbikes. Yeah. I want to do my CBT, and I love going on the back of motorbikes. But I'm actually a bit of a speed demon, I would say. I love it. Um, we need to get you on a, uh, a track, I think. I would love to do a track, Dave. Uh, so, Nikki, I actually have a dream. I want to go monster truck driving. Oh my god, I've been in a monster truck. It Have is you? amazing. It's always been my dream to basically race and drive around in monster trucks. I think it's because I've got small person mm. syndrome because I'm so <laughs> tiny that I just want to be in the you, biggest piece of machinery. I mean, you would actually fit inside one of the wheels, I think. I think, it, yeah, the wheels are bigger than me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, that would. It. I would love to see you in a monster truck. I'm sure okay. we can make that happen. Let's do it. Yeah. What would be Thanks. your, if you could have any car in the world, what would it be? A red AC Cobra. Ooh, nice one. Yeah. Nice. Why? What's the story I just, there? I just love them. I think they look beautiful. I really love old vintage cars. And I think they're really classic and they're timeless. I don't know how easy it would be to drive one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Nikki Shields, thank you for letting me on your show, Shields Drives. I've had a great time. Um, I think it's time I took you to a fashion show. excited today it's so beautiful to be in Clara G is my favorite and, and it's nice to show everyone or everyone collection yeah, of course so and we are so excited to be here and the new collection is mm. incredible thank and you, you. have this, you have this you. collaboration with murder on the orange yes. express tell us a little bit about it so the 20th century Fox production they approached us to do collaboration uh, with their new up-and-coming movie Murder on Orient Express yeah. and um, and it's a great uh, British novel by Agatha Christie which we was we absolutely love the idea yeah. and um, we actually at the, the same moment was working on the travel collection yeah. with all the travel pieces luggage and, the new luggage, yeah. and then I thought it's great opportunity to do a hat boxes and I love all the period the art deco 20s so it's it's Such the cool best style, yeah and so chic, all about so Timeless travel, which yeah. is so classic and essentially British, and, and the Orient Express, it's 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 so timeless. I just it's just iconic. love iconic. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And the film looks amazing as well. Mm, Such yes, an incredible cast. Yes, <laughs> and, but you're quite into your cast as well, right? You were at Goodwood Revival the other oh, week. Yes, we saw you there enjoying yes. the classic car racing, and there was a classic car parked outside as well. You mean the the Aspinall Bentley? Yes, yes. yes. A, a vintage one. Yes, Aspinall Bentley. Aspinall Bentley. <laughs> well, because we live in the country. And um, and it's nice way to travel from the country to London. I'm I'm very spoiled, I have to say. Yes, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think um, Bentley is represented British, 
and it's classic yeah. and timeless. It's uh, iconic. It's yeah. it's uh, yeah. it's very it's awesome. now. Like yes, <laughs> and it's long wheels, yeah. <laughs> which is great. It's good. Um, yeah, yeah, for the heels. Oh, Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Thank you. Yes. We've dragged you away far too long. Yeah. No, no, thank, thank you. Thank you, so thank you for much. coming. Thank you. Let's have more champagne. More champagne. We survived. We survived. Come out the other side. And the most important part I think I've learned is the goodie bag. Not sure what's inside it, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure there'll be plenty more videos coming soon. So please subscribe below. Thanks very much. Thank you.